Introduction to Cybersecurity Cybersecurity is a huge topic and it can be challenging to start. This path will give you hands-on introduction to different areas within cybersecurity, including careers in cybersecurity, offensive security, hacking your first application, defensive security, defending against a live cyber attack, exploring security topics in the industry, Completing this learning path will give you the knowledge to kickstart your cybersecurity journey. So the requirements to do that are no prior knowledge. You need no prerequisites to start this pathway, just enthusiasm and excitement to learn. Introduction to cybersecurity. Understand what is offensive and defensive security and learn about careers available in cybersecurity. Intro to Offensive Security Hack your first website legally in a safe environment and experience an ethical hacker's job. So now we're gonna click here in the first activity. Sorry about my internet. And let's go! Task 1. Hacking your first machine. Before going to cybersecurity careers and what offensive security is, let's get you hacking. And yes, it's legal. All the exercises are fake simulations. Your first hack. Click the Start Machine button. Once you've loaded, in split view in your browser, you will have access to a machine you will use to hack a fake bank application called Fake Bank. If you don't see the machine appear, use the blue show split view button on the top right of this page. We will use a command line application called GoBuster to brute force fake banks websites to find hidden directories and passwords. GoBuster will take a list of potential page directory names and tries accessing a website with each of them. If the page exists, it tells you. So let's do that, just to start the machine. Start the machine here. And once the machine is started, I will be back. So now that it's started, let's go to step one. So step one, open a terminal. A terminal, also known as command line, allows us to interact with a computer without using a graphical user interface which is the GUI. On the machine, open the terminal using the icon, this icon here. So let's do just that. So click it and I opened my terminal. That's my terminal here, right here. Step two, find hidden website pages. Most companies will have a Gmin portal page, giving their staff access to basic admin controls for day-to-day -day operations. For a bank, an employee might need to transfer money to and from client accounts. Often, these pages are not made private, allowing attackers to find hidden pages that show or give access to admin controls or sensitive data. Type the following command into the terminal to find potentially hidden pages on fake bank's website using GoBuster, a command line security application. So here down below there's an example, GoBuster command to brute force website pages. So the command is GoBuster space dash u space http colon slash slash fake bank dot com space dash w space word list dot txt space dear so we will try this after let's just finish the explanation here down below don't worry if you have not used a terminal before try hack me walks you through everything okay let's do just that right now let's do go buster go buster dash u http colon 
slash slash fake bank fake bank dot com I think it's a space dash w space word word list dot txt space tier okay if I wrote correctly let's see okay seems like we can see the same thing that we can see here in the example so we are in the right path let's see more the explanation down below here in the command above dash u it's use it to state the website we are scanning dash w takes a list of words to iterate through to find hidden pages you will see GoBuster scans the website with each word in the list, finding pages that exist on the website. GoBuster will tell you the pages it found in the list of page slash directory names, indicated by status 200. So as we can see here in the example down below, pages found by GoBuster, bank transfer status 200. Step 3. Hack the bank. You should have found a secret bank transfer page that allows you to transfer money between accounts at the bank. Slash type the hidden page into the fake bank website on the machine. So guys, let's do just that. So let's copy here. Copy. Let's go to the bank website, to the fake bank website. I'll click here, fakebank.com, control V. No, I did something bad. Control V. Okay, and I'm gonna press enter. Okay, and I am in. And here, guys, if you get stuck at and you don't know how to do it, there is this drop down menu here, it's stuck. See the video. And there is a little example here about the things that we just did. So copy it, paste there, okay. And that's it, that's how we do it. This page allows an attacker to steal money from any bank account, which is a critical risk for the bank. As a ethical hacker, you would, with permission, find vulnerabilities in their application and report them to the bank to fix before a hacker exploits them. So here down below, try hack me, it's asking me, transfer 2000 from the bank account, 2276, to your account. Account number 8881. So let's do just that. Okay, sent from 2000 to my account, that it's 8800 H1, and the amount of money, oh no, it's transferred 2000, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so the account is 2200. 76 to my account 8881 the amount is 2000 so let's do just that send money okay success and we did it congratulations so let's go for the questions right now answer the questions below when you've transferred the money to your account Go back to your bank account page. What is the answer shown on your bank balance page? So let's do just that, let's go back. And here, if we scroll down the page, we can see, oh, I scroll down too much. Here, the answer is bank hack it. So let's just copy this, Control C, and let's 
paste here and submit. Congratulations, the answer is correct. So let's go to the other question. So here on task to show if you were a penetration tester or security consultant. This is an exercise you would perform for companies to test for vulnerabilities in their web applications. Find hidden pages to investigate for vulnerabilities. So no answers are needed here. So here it's explaining what would you do if you were a pen tester or a security consultant. That's clear. So let's go to the last question. Ah, it's not a question. So terminate the machine by clicking the red terminate button at the top of the page. So let's do just that. Let's go on the top of the page and let's terminate terminate machine and that's how we finish task one thank you very much for being here with me and see you next task bye